Hey, what's going on guys? This is MBDC back with another video for you guys here today. And today, we're doing something a little different. We're talking about Final Cut Pro. So we're doing a Final Cut Pro tutorial. We're doing the beginning stages of getting into Final Cut. So if you're thinking about switching to Final Cut, you're using Adobe right now or DaVinci Resolve. If you're thinking about switching to MacBook or iMac or anything like that, and you kind of don't know what you're looking at when you first load up Final Cut or even how to start, a project this video is for you so if you guys want to learn how to start a project and kind of get going keep watching this video you guys are gonna learn a whole bunch of stuff about how to get going on Final Cut Pro because it is a lot to learn so let's just go ahead and jump right into it all right guys so we're just gonna get right into Final Cut Pro so we go down here load up Final Cut Pro get that going we're gonna cancel off my two screens here so we're not going to use two screens for this so got Final Cut Pro loaded up this is when you first lo load up Final Cut Pro it should look like this so all my windows are blank here right so you have your selector window your timeline's going to be at the bottom you have your inspector window and then your viewfinder or your what you're editing right here so first thing you want to do is go up to file I don't think this is recording the file I'm going to go up to file you want to go to new library. It's a new library. You name it whatever you want. Oops. I'm gonna, go boom. I'm gonna name this Aperture MC. Hit save. So. Then it aperture MC. So now you're gonna see the import media and the new project box pop up and a bunch of options over here. So first thing you want to do is click import media. So you're gonna import your media. So the best thing to do, uh, let me close this out real quick. So the best thing to do is have an external hard drive. I have Samsung T5 that I that I edited off of. I have a couple of them actually. I'll show you here. So Samsung T5 is focus in on it so Samsung T5 is awesome if you do not have one I recommend it go get one this is just oh, mine's all stuff. so this is just 50 bucks 100 bucks something like that 500 gigs they come up to two terabytes or something like that I keep a couple of them around that's what I edit off of I do not edit uh, off of the computer so I do not load all my files onto my internal hard drive and record off of that what I do is I Take them straight from my SD card, put them on my SSD. So you got your SSD right up top here. So if you double click that, it's gonna bring up all your files on the SSD and then you make a folder of all the stuff that you wanna, that, that's gonna be in your video. It's super, super imperative that you keep everything together in a folder so it's easy to find, easy to import. And like I said, you wanna record off of an SSD, or not record, you wanna edit off of an SSD it's gonna be your best bet. So you go import media. So I'm in my T5, you can see it right over here. So it's like this video is gonna be about the aperture light, which I've already uploaded. If you have not seen that video, watch it. It should be down below or up here or something like that. But I'm click aperture light, we're gonna get that imported. Boom. So you can see all your files load up. So you can see all your files right here. So all your Everything that's in that aperture folder is all right here. So it's all it's all gonna be right here. And so you're like, what do I do next? I just drag and clip onto the timeline? No. It's not what you do, you do not just take it and drag and clip onto the timeline. What you want to do is hit new project. So now this window is gonna pop up. What you can do is name it the same thing. You name it Am aperture MC. And so you can use custom settings or you can use automatic settings. So automatic settings is gonna make the timeline that you edit on whatever the footage you shot. So if you're not shooting any kind of B-roll or anything like that, um, and you're just shooting 24p and you wanna edit and export in 24p, then use automatic settings. But if you shot B-roll and it's in 120p, 60p, but you do not wanna export in 120 or 60, Make sure you use custom settings and go in and dial in all your settings, what format, 4K, 8K, that's what you're going to export in, 
all your resolutions, your frame rates. Make sure you have all this dialed. I shoot in ProRes 42. Some people shoot in the different color that I shoot for it. Uh, ProRes 42. And just make sure all that's dialed in, but I'll just click these automatic settings. Um, and then the, you can see here it says set based on first video clip property. So the first video clip you drop in the timeline, that's gonna be your timeline. So you wanna make sure that that is set every time I check it, every time just to be on the safe side, every time I upload a video or start um, importing a video, start to edit it, I make sure that those settings are dialed first because you don't want to get halfway through an edit or something in real or get all the way through an edit. You go to export and then you realize you've been editing on a 60p timeline or something crazy like that. So you click OK, boom, a timeline is going to appear. So you have a Phantom Ghost Black timeline, right? What we're going to talk about is getting your clip onto the timeline. So there's a couple different ways. Obviously, you can drag, right? You can drag, drop, boom, your clip's in the timeline. So let me, let me blow that up. So you drag drop the clips on the timeline, right? Just delete that. Another way is you need to know your keyboard shortcuts, but you just hit E, it drops in the timeline. Same thing. So, same thing. If you go right here to this little arrow, that should be default to arrow. I'm gonna show you a couple keyboard shortcuts to mess around your timeline. So A is select. You always wanna have it in select if you're not trimming or blading or positioning anything. But you got A select, you got blade is B, and you got zoom is Z. Those are the three things that you want to know. Select, blade, and zoom. Those are the three things I recommend you know. And yeah, that is the basics of Final Cut Pro. That's how you get started. If you guys want a more in-depth look on how to edit videos or how I edit my videos or how I edited this video, let me know down below. But again, super simple stuff. Just getting started on Final Cut because it can be daunting, can be... You can look at it and go, man, this is crazy. I don't know, I don't know what, what what to do. I don't know what all these buttons do and all this stuff does because it's different. Even if you come from a different editing software, you're still not gonna be able to jump in the final cut and just get going right away. It's just not gonna happen. So I hope this video helps you out. Again, if you want a more in-depth tutorial part two of this, you have to let me know down below. You have to like this video, let me know down below. Or again, if you want to see how I edited this video specifically, let me know. Let me know down below. That was just the basics. And if you have any other questions that I did not answer in this video before I get to the next one, let me know down below and I'll be sure to get to your questions and answer any questions you may have about Final Cut Pro. But that's been it. This is MBDC. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.